Hello and welcome to the latest episode of our Travel Cuba series. Uh, we are still with the Jeep Safari. Um, uh, in the last episode, we parked uh, the SUVs right in front of Coral Beach. And uh, right now, we are going snorkeling. Coral Beach is located near Carbonera, which is not too far from Veradero, yeah, yeah, yeah. and still in, in the province of Matanzas. Baby! Gear is provided on the spot, uh, however I brought my own goggles, uh, snorkel, and shoes. I decided to use shoes, but you can get uh, fins uh, there. And uh, you have to get a live vest. Um, I wasn't really happy about it, and you can see here why. <laughs> I, um, it wasn't. Uh, it was difficult to snorkel with with a live vest. Uh, I'm not right, really big into snorkeling, but this was my first time snorkeling with a live vest, and it was a uh, very difficult breeding. Um, I always ended up uh, swallowing water. Um, it, it was it was hard. I would much rather go without a life vest. However, in this case, they actually went pretty far. You can see the group uh, way back there. This is how far you go into the ocean. Uh, so the life vest is kind of needed. Uh, you will get tired, and it's uh, it's better. Yeah. It's also better to get the fins. Uh, you would swim much faster with the fins. It's much easier. I actually made a mistake with the shoes. Uh, they may be a little bit more comfortable, but you swim a lot slower with them. There's also a bar in the area of the beach, of course, <laughs> if you're driving, don't drink. Uh, but any of the passengers who will not be driving anymore during the day or not driving at all can, can have a few drinks there. Uh, my wife didn't go swimming, for example. Um, I think she had like a, a cold course in the Fanta there. And you can see me here already getting behind and this is because everyone else has fins. Uh, <laughs> I have to work twice as hard to uh, keep up with them. And this is the other group actually coming back uh, and they will, they're about to end their, their snorkeling. And this is what it looks like underwater. Now, um, what I really liked is the friendly fish. Now this fish, for example, I was able to touch uh, they come right up to you, they're not afraid, and they would let you touch them. Uh, this is something that uh, I didn't experience. In the Philippines, those uh, those fishes there, they're used to people. I guess a lot of people go there uh, every day, so um, they don't mind uh, people and they don't mind being touched. Well, maybe they do mind, but uh, they don't really care they're not scared however um 
the coral is a different story. And another reason why you probably need the light vest, you can see how deep it is here. And yet again, I ended up swallowing water. But anyways, if, if you have not seen our Travel Philippines series, uh, you can uh, check them out. Uh, a couple of times we went, uh, I went snorkeling there. Uh, and the colors of the corals are spectacular. In the Philippines, you would see pretty much the whole spectrum of colors. Um, purple, pink, yellow. Here, this is kind of grayish greenish and that's pretty much about it this shading here was unintentional it's actually pretty hard to operate the camera while swimming but I think it actually worked out okay but back to the corals those corals look bleached to me uh, I'm not coral expert uh, you can let us know in comments if, if you think I'm wrong about that um, not sure what degree of bleaching this is if this changes uh, in different seasons uh, but this was nowhere nearly as spectacular as, as the corals that I've seen in the Philippines and I did try to research this but I couldn't find any information about uh, Pro Beach in particular. Generally speaking, uh, it says that the corals around Cuba are the most diverse and the best in the Caribbean. Uh, fishes here look like uh, yellow snapper um, I could be wrong I'm not sure uh, please let us know in comments if uh, if you know what kind of fishes those are and this one here I think it's a blue tang the blue one of course again they were very friendly and would let you come very close to them even touch them A like and subscribe would be very much appreciated. And click that notification bell that will notify you anytime we upload awesome videos like this one. And hey, here's another blue tank. Or possibly the same one. There are places where we c you can change there, and I did change, but they're not very private. <laughs> Uh, it's kind of like walls on three sides. Um, like, well, I, I guess I, I needed to do it because I didn't want to uh, continue my day with the wet pants. Uh, I did bring another pair of pants and uh, an underwear to exchange. But again, like the the place where you're gonna change is not is not very private.
Again, a couple of blue tanks here. And here you can see me separated from uh, the rest of the pack. I actually swam back a little earlier and um, stayed in, in the shallower part to film. Uh, they did allow me to basically go on my own and uh, I did enjoy uh, better going on my own than uh, going with, uh, with the rest. Um, one reason being I didn't have the fins. This video is already getting pretty long, so we will not have any part uh, of the SUVs in, uh, in this episode. Um, in the next episode, we will be departing from Coral Beach and we will be driving to Rio Canimar Park. Uh, but uh, this episode will just have uh, the snorkeling portion. At least I think I'm getting a little better with the underwater filming. Um, you can check our Travel Philippines series again if you haven't uh, and uh, see how I was struggling there. This here, I believe, is a Surgeon Major Dumsol Fitch. I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing this correctly. Again, uh, if, if you know that I'm wrong, if you know what kind of fish this is, please let us know in the comments. that surgeon major fish again with this i'm gonna wrap it up for today thank you very much for spending the time and i hope i'll see you in the next episode when we go to rio canemar park goodbye <laughs>